There was a tension between Pakistan and India about Kashmir uh, in the back in the days. And how do you evaluate this situation? And is there a war coming out between Pakistan and India? What do you think about this? Well, if Pakistan can help it, uh, there will be no war. Mm -hmm. We have always uh, wanted uh, restraint. We have always wanted dialogue. We have want always wanted conversation, meaningful result-oriented conversation on the larger issue of the Kashmir, uh, Kashmir issue. And in this particular instances, or instance also, a conversation between the two sides to resolve it. We have, our Prime Minister has asked for evidence. Uh, the moment we have actionable evidence, we will work on it to remove uh, uh, allegations, remove apprehensions about uh, where it originated from and to deal with the consequences of it. So if Pakistan can help it, there will be a, no war. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been always asking for our prime minister. In fact, yesterday spoke, addressed the national parliament, mm -hmm. and he took the opportunity to speak across the border also mm -hmm. to de-escalate. Mm -hmm. uh, if, heaven forbid, something happens, Pakistan will not be the one to initiate it. The Kashmir problem is continuing for a while, actually, for years. But what happened right now that it caused it to happen, this situation to spark up a little bit? And what do you foresee about the future of this situation? Well, this is the basic, uh, this is a very valid question. Why is it that every now and then, like a fever, mm -hmm. Kashmir, Kashmir uh, uh, rises uh, in the South Asian uh, international uh, uh, paradigm? The reason is that there is a simmering discontentment on the part of the Kashmiris for their present status. They were promised their right of self-determination mm -hmm. in 1947 mm -hmm. under UN Security Council resolutions, which are still valid. They still exist. Kashmiris want what you and what I have, their right to decide their future for themselves. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, India does not agree. It has taken the, uh, it has imposed its, or it has sent about half a million of its occupation forces there to suppress this demand of the Kashmiris for their right of self-determination. The basic issue that you see in Kashmir is this denial of their right of self-determination. The moment a meaningful conversation takes place, the legitimate aspirations of Kashmiris are addressed, this issue will go away. Unfortunately, India does not seem to realize that, and hence India, Pakistan, but above all the Kashmiris suffer this, the consequences of this. And why this happened right now, if you live under oppression, are constantly pressed from all sides, all manner of brute forces against you, is used against you, people will break, people will snap. It is a normal, unfortunate reaction. About this situation, there has been an interaction between Turkish parts and the Pakistani parts, actually. A Pakistani Prime Minister called Turkish President Erdogan, and also uh, the Foreign Minister of Pakistan has been uh, call, having phone conversation with the Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu, and there is an interaction about the situation in Kashmir. Also, is there, can there be a part of that Turkey can play in order to solve this situation? And is Pakistan actually expecting a global interaction with this situation, such as UN and everything else? It's a normal, diplomatic, civilized way of dealing with things that when two countries, Pakistan and India in this case, are unable to resolve their differences bilaterally, invite somebody else to help mediate mm -hmm. so as to bring the process forward. What do we want in the end? We, in the end, all of us want peace. All of us want security. And all of us want an end to this uh, constant uh, human rights uh, violations that are happening in Kashmir. Mm -hmm. How to go about it? Mediation is one uh, method, one way. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, or day before yesterday, the Turkish Foreign Minister, Honorable Chav Sholu, spoke about uh, Turkish mediation. We, most, we welcome it. Whatever helps resolve the issue, we are ready for it and we welcome it, mm -hmm. including a role played by Turkey. Turkey, mashallah, is a country of high standing internationally. It has a voice. It has a weight. It is right now the chairman, chair, uh, chair of the OIC. Mm -hmm. It is a valued member of the OIC contact, contact group on Kashmir. Mm -hmm. uh, we very much welcome that.
the very frank and honest response to this is that the basic reason Kashmir inflicts itself on South Asia every now and then is the continued occupation of the people of Kashmir. As long as that basic issue is not addressed, things like what we see, which we saw us recently, will continue to happen. We have to honor the promise that was made by Pakistan, by India, by the Prime Minister of India, Jawahar Lal Nehru, that they will ask the Kashmiris what they want for their future. We need to give it to them. Unless that happens, every new generation of Kashmiris will go through this convulsion and inflict uh, will be the reason for the tension that we right now see in uh, South Asia between two nuclear-armed countries.